Galaxy Note 20 Ultra could be launched in South Korea with Snapdragon 865 Plus. Samsung usually launches Snapdragon variant of its smartphone in China and the US, while other markets have to make to do with the Exynos variant. However, something strange happened this year. The Snapdragon 865 variant of the Galaxy S20 series was launched in South Korea. Later, reports about the Exynos 992 equipped with Galaxy Note 20 started circulating, claiming that Samsung could go back to Exynos chipset for its home market. According to new report from South Korean publication D-Daily, Samsung will launch the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor version of the Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in South Korea. According to a report, Samsung could continue with the Snapdragon strategy for South Korean market even further. The main reason for the company strategy is said to be the Snapdragon chipset relatively higher GPU performance. It being reported that GPU performance has become extremely important and the Samsung Electronics saw a noticeable difference between the Exynos 990 and Snapdragon 865 processor graphic compatibilities. It was also the reason why Samsung exclusively used the Snapdragon 855 chipset in the Galaxy Fold. According to report, Snapdragon processor also feature faster 5G modem for higher download and upload speeds. Various tests have proved in the past that Snapdragon version of Galaxy smartphone also offer longer battery life with the Exynos version. Meanwhile, the company in-house chipset division is trying to improve the graphic performance of Exynos processor by joining hands with AMD to use the Redon technology. We could see the first Exynos chipset with AMD Redon graphics sometime next year and it could be named as Exynos 1000. The Galaxy S21 or Galaxy S30 could be the first phone to use the Exynos 1000 processor with 5 nanometer EUV processor. In another report, Samsung will bring Snapdragon 875G and Snapdragon 735G chipset for Qualcomm using its 5 nanometer EUV processor. These chips are expected to be 25% smaller than SOC fabricated using the 7 nanometer processor, and they will be featuring high transistor density. So in another leak, the Samsung has started teasing the Galaxy Buds live on Twitter, but it looks like the unofficial source has already stolen the Samsung Galaxy Thunder. Shortly after the company posted its teaser video as the invitation to Galaxy Unpacked event, Twitter user Hawkst shared a much better view of the Galaxy Buds live. Interestingly enough, the leaked Galaxy Bird live video also contained the caption below, keep the noise out and let the sound in. They seemingly confirmed that the Galaxy Bird live will indeed have an active noise cancellation as well as ambient sound. Also, the Galaxy Note 20 series has secured another certification ahead of its August release, the time for the Thailand National Broadcasting and Telecommunication. Specifically, the regulatory body has approved the LTE variant of both the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. As expected, the device carry model number SM980F and SM985F, respectively, and as if more proof was needed that Samsung is changing the naming scheme of its S Pen flagship. The SM985F model has been associated with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra moniker once again. Both phones have also been confirmed to boost dual SIM capabilities, but this shouldn't surprise anyone given the Samsung history of dual SIM devices. No other specs has been revealed by NBTC. So guys, that is it in this particular video. Would you buy a Galaxy Note 20 if it comes with Exynos 990 chipset in your country? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and also please do consider subscribing my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.